Okay, I got a video request here from Jab Capper 3D, and he would like to know is he would like to see a tutorial how to transfer files from one PC to another, and there is many different ways to do this. So I'm going to show you a few ways right now. First, we're going to assume that he wants to do it at his house. Pretty much, what you need to do is. You need to go to your control panel. Security center. I turned my firewall off, but you can modify your firewall exceptions to allow file sharing. Right there. Make sure that's checked. But I have my firewall off. And this is only if you are land or you have like a wireless. I'm running wireless right now. See? Run wireless. Two days straight. Once you have done that, then go ahead and open up any folder. And then go to Tools, Folder Options, View. And make sure Use Simple File Sharing is checked off. Make sure that is checked. Once you've done that, now you have a shared folder right here. Make sure you have a shared folder. This little hand tells you what folders you're sharing. For example, if I go with my external hard drive, if you notice, I'm sharing my movie folder, my games. Every folder inside there will be shared. You don't have to go and share each folder, but I'll show you in this one. So like I want to share all these movies or just right here right click on that properties sharing and check that box share for network once you've done that you'll have the little hand it's all shared and view uh, my network places as you can see this is me right here these are all the folders I'm sharing this is a friend that's over the internet and I'll show you how to do uh, VPN in a little bit but those are his folders over the internet I can't access it because I turn off the software but yeah as you can see those are the folders I'm sharing always make sure to make it a lot easier on you <clears throat> your computer name Work group. Make sure it's the same. Change both computers to the same work group. Makes everything much easier. So much time I got. Okay. That's basic file sharing. Also, if you have a wireless router, Right there. There's my wireless router. Make sure easiest way is DMZ Make sure you add yourself to the DMZ. As you notice, I added two more IPs. That's Hamachi and this is my uh, computer. Enable it. This will allow everything through. And I've disabled my firewall. So I don't suggest you disable your hardware firewall. If you add yourself to DMZ, your hardware firewall is not really going to matter to you because it allows any traffic through. Pretty much there's that. Now I'm going to show you how to do it across the internet. Same type of thing. Okay, we're going to go download Hamachi. It's a free tool, logmein.com. This is Hamachi, virtual private network. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to download now. I'll just skip this for right now. And then you're going to, you have the Windows version, you have a Linux, and then you have a Mac, and they all can link together. And here's the requirements, Windows 2000, XP, Server 2003, or Vista computers only. They cannot be supported on 95, 98, ME, or NT. 
even though NT is actually Windows 2000 also because it's new technology, but it's not compatible with NT. So go ahead and download it. It's about a megabyte. Save. Download is complete. Go ahead and open it up. It's going to install. I already have it installed, but it's going to have an update my Hamachi right now. Start it up. Here it is down here. Little Hamachi. You can see I'm connected right now. Once it connects, you're not going to see anything in this box until you join or add a network. As you can see, there's a bunch of networks right there. This is my friend Jed. That's his other computer. That's his Windows computer. Okay, what you do is click right here, and then you're going to create a network. Go ahead and enter a network name and then a password. For example, I'll use the one I already have. You can't have the same network as anyone else. See, error. So cancel. But you create a network and then you tell people to go down here and to the join the network. And what they do is enter the network name and the password and then you're linked. And if you do what I told you earlier about file sharing between going to start the firewall and stuff, then you'll have Hamachi set up. Then all you have to do is, for example, right click, browse. This is my friend Jed. I want to browse his computer for his shared files. And this is pretty much, you know, virtual private network linking them together. As you can see, I'm on his computer right now. Whatever. There we go. See, these are all on him. But that's pretty much how you do it. And if you want to transfer a file, just click, drag. Yes. And it's going to transfer just like you're moving files. It's not going to give you progress time unless you're on Windows Vista, but you don't really need it. As you can see, preparing to copy. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hamachi.com. If you have any other questions or need a little more help uh, setting up file sharing, I'm more than happy to help you. Go ahead and send me a message if you want to request a video or if you'd like to see anything else new. Alright, thanks.